<clears throat> Alrighty guys, this is the study of gaming. It is finally time to dive into some Anthem. I'm Lucas, thank you for joining me tonight. We're going to go ahead and hit the play button and jump right in. While this is loading, I do want to apologize for canceling the event last night. Uh, the first day of launch really, really didn't go well for Anthem. So uh, we had to cancel that while the servers were up and down all night, uh, both the Anthem game servers and the EA servers. So, a whole bunch of stuff that went wrong. But we're going to jump in. Most of the issues should be fixed. They've got a little bit still left, but uh, I think we'll be good to go tonight. Let's pick who we're going to be here. Sorry, get my other monitor set up first real quick. So I can make sure I'm paying attention when you guys are trying to talk to me. is the demo for Anthem. Um, the demo, uh, the VIP demo this weekend is uh, a separate build completely from the retail release and from the alpha. Uh, tonight, I can't really talk about the alpha, but tonight um, what they're doing is throwing us basically into the middle of the game somewhere. Um, we start at level 10. I think we can get up to a max of level 20. Uh, we start with the Ranger Javelin uh, exosuit, which is the generalist um, one that you can customize the most. And then at level 12, I believe, is when we can, in the demo, is when we can uh, unlock our second javelin. Now here during the demo... Oh, so yeah, we only get up to 15. Not 20. Okay. Um, but here during the demo, uh, we can only get up to the uh, two javelins, the ranger that we start with, plus one more. In the final game, we'll be able to actually get our hands on all four of them. Welcome Freelancer, discover what you can experience during the Anthem demo weekends and how VIP players can bring up to three VIP friends along. A suit up Freelancer we'll see in Fort Tarsus, um, keyboard layout, Legion of Dawn edition, yeah, yeah. Arrive back at Fort Tarsus, the center of life on the frontier. Make your way down to the Freelancer Enclave and meet Lucky Jack, or discuss keeping your javelin in one piece with Zoe by the forge. Need to relax, tour the marketplace and courtyard, or strike up a conversation with everyone's favorite bartender, Amal. Uh, okay, so the map's going to be the escape key. Uh, now, since they still have not perfected uh, also the PC controls, um, so I'm going to be using a controller here, uh, which means I am going to need to change my inverted controls these are set Good enough. Tutorial. I holstered. Yeah, I just like that look better. Video. Link on. Motion blur off. I don't know why they have that on by default. I don't know anyone that likes that. Be 
be good with ultra. I don't think those are supposed to be doing that, unless there's just a whole lot of wind coming through. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so this is Fort Tarsus. Still some motion blur going on. Hurts my eyes. Um, and it looks like they've still got some optimization to do. I mean, I'm rocking a 2080 with a i7-8770 and 16 gigs of RAM, so I mean... I should be able to handle this no matter what, especially only on 1080p. All right, what you got to say, bud? No. Oh, nothing in here. Okay. Uh, Cortex tutorial. Here you'll find everything on... From Gravits to Javelins and the Journal, you'll find missions, contracts, and more. Cortex is where you'll find the story of Anthem as you uncover it. Okay. Uh, so that's where I find all the missions and stuff. Let's pull up the map and... Let's just get to our Javelin, the Forge. Where's my map? Okay, uh, there's the Barracks, Challenges, Lucky Jack, Alliance System. <laughs> Thanks, Marcos. Happy to have you here. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get this into some action here pretty quick. Um, here in the demo, they actually start your uh, javelin off with like some really basic equipment, but they give you some upgraded equipment, but it's just in, in your inventory. You just actually have to equip it to your javelin. A lot of people miss that the first time they actually head out. So we are going to try and get that done first. And unfortunately, there is no running, um, at least not right now in Fort Tarsus. The contract went well. Um, yeah. Hey, how'd your last job go? Fantastic. I kicked its ass. That's right, you did. Just go back myself. Damn Titan nearly took my arm off. Always something, huh? Owen stopped by. Wanted to make sure your records were in order. No worries, though. A Titan won't stop me from keeping this Considering place Considering the last Bioware How game and the facial animations anyway. that were in that you don't for uh, Andromeda, Layers, this buddy. looks so we all much be. better. You want a well-placed shot or a well-kept ledger? Ask Lucky Jack. We all do our bit for the family, right? Yep, all have our roles. We all have so a job you're to you're the cousin who enjoys paperwork. And taking on scars, keeping things balanced. It's what I do. The point is, we've got each other's backs. It's not like we got anyone else in our corner. Eh, we'll get them later. Not They'll today, come around. but we'll turn things around. That's the spirit right there. We need freelancers to bring in contracts, get the work done. The better the Enclave does, the better we all do, right? Well, I've got reports to update before I'm back out there. Striders to save, relics to silence, you know how it is. Yep, yep. All right. Um, yeah, that's where I'm trying to go, is the forge. Uh, when you're ready to leave Fort Tarsus, head to the forge to customize your javelin's look, check your weapons and gear, and start an expedition with your friends. How's the javelin? Movement's a bit different since the last repair. Forge should be, yep, because that's my javelin sitting right up there. That's the default. There's going to be lots of customization and everything to do later. Marcos, you're doing just fine. I hope I, I only speak English um, moderately well, <laughs> but uh, either way, if I hope you you know enjoy the stream tonight and get to watch some fun gameplay. Uh, but again, like I was saying, that's the ranger that they start you off with, uh, the generalist. So we're going to head around and try and figure out where the forge... There we go. Go ahead and customize and upgrade some of that equipment. See what we got. 
Okay, so only have grenades for that. Uh, let's check our weapons. So we've got the common assault rifle. Uh, we can choose from pistol, shotgun, heavy pistol, machine gun, and marksman rifle. Um, well, let's keep with the assault rifle for that one, and we'll take the marksman rifle for my secondary weapon there. And for the assault launcher, uh, looks like all we've got is the seeker missiles, which is just fine. Uh, support gear, we've got a bubble, always handy. And the components. Uh, this slot up here is going to be primarily for uh, your modifications. This is going to be how you tweak your javelin for how you want to play. Um, you want to play more just all-out damage. You want to focus on a specific damage type. Um, do you want to play more support by debuffing and hindering the other people? This is where you pick that. So we've got right here an armor reinforcement. Um, basically just does what you would think it does. Increases my health and armor. Um, or this one that increases my melee damage. And still my health and armor a little bit. Uh, well, melee is really, really nice to have in this game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that one on. Looks like we've got some stuff to unlock. Um, check our appearance here. Yeah, here's here. where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. Let's see if we got anything else. Ew, that helmet's ugly. Actually, I think I'm going to save all my unlocks for once I unlock my, uh, or my customizations here for once I unlock the next javelin because I'm going to be going with the big boy, the Colossus. Alright, so I'm finished with that. Let's go ahead and see where we got to go. I think that blue one maybe? Oh yeah, wait a minute. I was just there. Okay, uh, so critical objectives... Um, let's check with those. Those are the storylines. I gotta speak with Matthias first and find him. Yes, yeah, so he's up over there. I gotta go through those doors. Right. I want to get to the action, but people in here I gotta talk to real quick to get some more weapons and stuff to equip. Maybe something better to. Help me out before I head out into the wild. Uh, how do I... Oh, there it is. Yeah. What have you been up to? You'll love it. Okay, it's called... The Manifold. Well, technically I call it the Manifold. And it does what exactly? For years, I had heard of a type of shaper relic that was able to amplify and augment the qualities of other objects. Never encountered one, never knew anyone that had, but thanks to the Elysian Manuscript, I think I know where one is. Right here, in Bastion. And you think it'll amplify and augment the power of my javelin? Precisely. Excited yet? Uh, Make me more powerful? Not to worry. Yeah. Once we find the manifold, get it working, you will be. Guaranteed. First, the manifold. Then we boost your javelin, you silence the heart of rage, and boom! Everyone lives happily ever after. It's uh, a little more complicated than that. Ah, details. I've sent all the particulars of the location to Faye. I can't wait. Okay. Just out for a walk. Quest part one completed. I gotta go back around the way I came. Alright, so now I gotta head out and launch expedition means I can get out in my javelin and start killing stuff. What's up? What up, Jay? You're watching. What's that? Been watching the stream. Oh, uh, yeah. 
hop in our Iron Man suit. Here, you can select your mission, difficulty level, and privacy settings. Um, when you enter the start of the expedition, the last mission you acquired is always selected. Change missions by selecting the mission title, navigating to the map, and choosing a new objective. Press U to open the squad. Uh, okay. So, yep, we're going to select that. Um, and you can change the difficulty level. Now, um, these only unlock once you're level 30. Um, and then you have to have, uh, as you'll see there, um, your all of your equipment on your javelin has to be a certain level so that you don't get killed. Um, as you can see, the uh, enemy damage and health increases are really, really high. <laughs> you get up that high, so they got to make sure you're at least somewhat prepared before they let you go out to your death. Um, I think those numbers are final uh, by 3100. Um, it's a lot. But you get really strong because there are quite a few ranks of equipment and stuff. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and change this to hard. Go back. And... Okay, so this is the social. This is where I can choose to invite players from my friends list and stuff. Um, oh, actually. I never did... Uh, Send a friend request to Jay. So Jay, once you get on, you'll have to send me one. Um, is it just your regular username? Um, I think so. Actually, I guess I better check that. Uh, yeah, my solo is pro. Um, I can probably do it here actually now. Yes. There we go. Sent you a friend request. Are you jumping in? Or uh, should I wait for you to start? Or Yeah, I'm trying to get in. Okay. Well, then since uh, Jay's going to be coming in, I'm going to wait for him. So be patient with us just a minute here, guys. Actually, while you're doing that, I'm going to hop back into the forge because I think I should have gotten some stuff from Matthias. But we'll see. I don't know why they gave us two shotguns. Alright, I invited you to my squad, not sure what that means. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. I thought I hit the button for it and it didn't uh, let me do that. So, uh, do you want to send another one real quick? Yeah, let me find it again. Okay. I can probably do it here. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. No. Probably need to do that from here. I did it within game. It shows you in my squad. Yep. There we are. So I did hit it. Okay. Um. Wait, you do it on easy? I... Huh? You changed it to easy? I haven't changed anything. Okay. Uh, well, you're team lead, so I can't change the difficulty. It's showing up easy on my screen. Uh, can I make you team lead? Um, yeah, you should be able to. If you go back to the squad, uh, there should be one of the buttons there, or maybe you can just hit the like select button on me. I'm not sure.
Okay, so you can jump into the forge from this screen. That's nice. Oh. I just removed you. You can invite me. There we go. Failed to join game. Uh, it says you're here, just not ready. So once you get in, you should be able to hit the, I think the X button or hold it to mark yourself as ready. I'm in like the area it's telling me to go to speak to Matthias. Oh, Matthias. Yeah, go ahead and go knock him out first. I was just talking to him. You'll follow the uh, blue icon on your um, HUD for that. Uh, let's see if it lets me look at the other javelins. Nope. Wait, Ranger, one out of five. What's that one out of five mean? Hmm. Uh, it's probably the uh, custom loadouts that you can add. Oh, there we go. Didn't have Just a to note, there. this uh, works with my Razor DPI quick adjustments. Nice. Uh, you'll probably want to use a uh, controller um, once we actually get out there because the everything else controls just fine on mouse and keyboard, but the flight controls are still really off. All right, I'll switch to Xbox controller once I get out of here. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, using the mouse and keyboard should be fine for running out, running around, but you'll definitely want to switch. Uh, well, I'm going to sit in the forge uh, and wait for you. Matthias is pretty quick, so it shouldn't take too long. Let's see what she has to Look say. Look who's back in one piece. Zo, did you expect me in more pieces than one? You? Never. I trust you've brought me work. Always good to give your javelin the once over after a run. What have you done this time? Uh, you're the expert. Nothing you can't fix. Flattery, huh? You must have done a number out there. Mm, nothing too crazy. Are we using your skill for crazy or mine? Scars, beasts, relic-based nonsense. Some people stay on this side of the wall. Others, well, well since you love running into that kind of stuff. So it says uh, start expedition. Yeah, so that's uh, that means you got to head back to the javelin and hop in that. The expedition to the uh, quest for. outside the walls. And I get an expert for the once over. All right, sweet talker. I'll run you some maintenance checks. I'll show it extra love to balance that cavalier attitude of yours. You're the best. I'm Thanks, aware. So. so. Yeah, once you actually get up to your javelin, you should see it says hit A, start expedition. All right, now I'm on the objective screen, the summary. Yep. Um, so you should see something on the bottom that says either launch or ready, because I'm still showing you not ready right now. I see it. F. There we go. Finally. <laughs> All right, launch. Selected private for this expedition. Um, keep it private, so just to be you and me. So this works with Xbox controller? Yep, that's what I'm playing with. All right. Let me go grab mine. So the entire, well, most, the vast majority of the game can actually be done solo. Uh, the game scales itself to uh, you if you're playing. The more people that you have, the more 
uh, it'll pop up more enemies and the enemies will be tougher to scale with the group that you brought with you. Um, there's also the option to um, for higher level people to play with lower level people and the loot that drops is always scaled to your level. Since you keep coming in. Be careful. So are we there yet? Sorry, I can't help it. I could be the first Arcanist in years, years, to discover one of these. I've been jotting down potential applications of the manifold and... So how about you focus on that? Quietly. I think you should be popping out here in just a minute, Jay. If, uh, if not, you may have started somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not still loading. I don't have the 2080, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'll give it a minute to wait for you to show up. I'm going to play around with the controls to make sure I remember them. It's taking a while. Uh, are you just, you're not stuck at 95%, are you? It looks like it. That's one intermittent bug that some people still have. quit um yeah if it uh is stuck on that you may have to try hitting this uh hit or hitting and holding escape to go back to the uh, fort tarsus if that doesn't work you may have to alt f4 and reload yeah head to alt f4 gotcha right. well, let's see what's on the map maybe we can do something that's not the uh West while we wait on him here. I should be able to join you there. Yeah, you should. Especially since I had you in already. Alright, well that's where I need to go. So let's just have some fun explore around. Sure there'll be something we can kill. So that little bar, um, that's kind of like a uh, arc below the center. That's your uh, jet heat. So the longer you fly, the hotter that gets. And when that overheats, you will stop and head towards the ground. Um, flying through waterfalls and in water and close to water and everything uh, cools that off. So grab a bunch of materials. Because there is a crafting system, uh, blueprints are kind of rare to make armor and weapons and stuff like that, but uh, they are in the game. So whenever you're out and about, if you want to find those, you can. And that is what's called a gravit. They are completely harmless, uh, in-game little critters. using the Xbox controller, um, clicking in the left joystick uh, is your kind of like sprint while you're running. Um, kind of kicks in the boosters and helps you run faster. If you are flying or in the air and you hit that button, then it starts your uh, flight. When you're underwater, there is no combat. Underwater is completely for exploration. Um, there are treasure chests to find, equipment, and uh, that kind of thing, but there's no actual combat or 
something like that, so you never have to worry about getting attacked there. It says it's rejoining the session, so hoping for the best. some combat with some enemies, uh, or we can just head to the uh, mission quest, I mean, we'll be able to learn on the fly, not like you haven't played a first person shooter before. There you are. Alright, so uh, A jumps. Uh, B is your dodge, Y is your, is your melee, and X is reload. Uh, you can double jump. Jump, click in the right joystick, and you'll hover. And click in the left joystick to fly. And you can, of course, switch from flight to hover at any time. It's so dope. I know. And then while you're flying, hitting that, clicking in the left joystick again just cuts off your engines and you'll fall. And if you pull. I notice off, there is a timer to that, so can we level this up? Level what up? Like the suit to be, I guess, to be able to fly uh, for more time or. Oh, uh, no, the suit doesn't level up. The gear that you can get, uh, only the your pilot, your actual person inside the suit is what has the levels. Um, and then the equipment that you can put on the suit, um, you find equipment that's level appropriate for your pilot. And then you can equip that higher level equipment to your javelin from when you get it. Um, there are armor pieces that uh, extend your flight time. Um, with certain buffs and that th kind, of, kind of thing if you want to do that. Uh, also, the other, each specific javelin type um, has its own, like, flight times. Uh, the Colossus is huge and heavy, so the flight time is really short on that one. Uh, the Interceptor is really light and agile, so it's got a longer flight time. The Ranger here that we've got is kind of in the middle. Guessing we didn't get to choose because of the demo. Uh, yeah, they start you out with the Ranger, uh, and then once we hit level 12, we'll be able to choose the uh, next job when we get. But you get two during the demo. During the full game, you'll get four. All four. Oops. Destroy plants to get equipment. How do you destroy them? Uh, you can either run up to them and hit X, or just use your Y to melee them. Uh, your shield does re, uh, recharge on its own, that's the blue bar. Uh, the green bar is your armor, your health, that does not recharge unless you pick up little red uh, triangles that the enemies drop. Sometimes. Uh, 
Uh, now one thing you can do once you get used to it is, uh, like I just did there, fly really close to the water. Not in it, but really close. And you'll see your bar turn blue. That means that your jets are being cooled. So it extends your flight nice. time. We gotta find or follow that. Huh? Looks like. Oh. Here somewhere. Ah. Dominion. Dead body here. I should have guessed. I've heard they possess a device that can overwhelm shaper constructs. The strange box. Could we use it? You have to know how to activate it. There's a Dominion camp close by. Perhaps we'll find a clue there. Head out the other way then. All right, I'm sold. <laughs> I love this game so far. I mean, the gunplay is really, really nice. The sound is beautiful. The impact, the that thump when you fire your guns and your grenades and everything. Oh. Why are the Dominion here? How could they know about? Reminds me a lot of Halo you know, in the early I, days. Uh, yeah. Sent a message to a colleague at the academy about what I found. It was intercepted then. Got enemies. Um, so there is a combo system. Um, right now with the uh, javelins we have, what you want to do is melee them, and you'll see them get, like, electrified. Well, if they don't die from melee. Um, and once you see them electrified, they'll start, like, actually shocking their teammates around them. And then you can hit them with your uh, right bumper, your grenade, or your uh, left bumper, which is your... Uh, or your right bumper is your homing missile, your grenade is your left one. But then you see what I just did there? It, like, detonates and explodes. I got you. Let's figure out what the Dominion know about the Ruin and the Manifold. I'll look around for clues. And there is a little dash uh, when you melee that throws you forward a little bit, which helps close the gap. That looks like another uh, radar beacon we gotta find. Probably right there. These controls are magical, man. It's an archive. They really did Let's nice see. in this game. Entry with yeah. Of the monitor's device. I mean, you can Once tell they made it primarily for console first, at least for, as far as the controls go. But, I mean, Both they're the really, really smooth and easy to handle. The scout succumbed to injury on the way out. We left her. We have not heard from the trooper inside the ruin. Two special Dominion signets, then. That's what we need. I'll send Oops. you the location of nearby Dominion camps. Hmm. Oh, does a chest be nothing? Yep, you wanna... Um, cause I don't know if I... Um, use that or harvest that if it'll still let you do it. Gauntlet. 
You got it? Savage goods. Sweet. So, yeah, you it actually like pops out a little item for you to collect too. Which is good stuff. Means we can't like steal stuff from each other. Uh, oh, that's an ammo pickup. Uh, now while you're flying, you can hold the left joystick forward to uh, kind of put your thrusters in high gear. Ow. Did I do good? <laughs> I mean, you kind of just killed everything, yeah. This little button popped up in my, uh, on my HUD and said, uh, push this, and I did, and magic happened. Oh, that was your ultimate, yeah. So I don't know if you remember uh, uh, War Machine from Iron Man, who popped out like those shoulder cannons and fired like 500 missiles. That's basically what your uh, ultimate yeah. is. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. And uh, to, for this guy, or for that ultimate, you press up on the D-pad. So I'm guessing you have multiple ultimate. Uh, yeah, they're based on your equipment that you pick up. But right now, because we're stuck with the uh, starting equipment, we're only left with that one. Ow. Now what we gotta do is kill all of these turrets. Ooh, one combo takes them out. Nice. Ground pound. Come here, buddy. Hold X to switch to your other weapon if you uh, equip one. Uh, now each weapon has its own ammo pool, but when you pick up the new uh, ammo drops, which is the little blue triangles, uh, it refills ammo for both of them. Very nice. I think I'm getting the hang of this. This is pretty sweet. a rift where enemies spawn. Uh, one of us at least has to stay inside this circle. The other one can uh, run out and kill stuff. Bubble. Now find the other. 
Sending you the location of another Dominion camp. Flying through four. Okay, so now we got to travel to the second Dominion camp whenever you're done killing that thing. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, getting stuff. Alright, now we gotta go to the blue marker. Ooh, it's so Camellia. So. Uh, where am I going? Wrong way. That's fine. And while you're flying, you can always hit A to drop out. It's much faster to drop out and let your engines cool before they overheat than to let them overheat and then cool. Oh, can I not go through there? Nope. Invisible wall. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, we can fly. Well, we need to fly up here. Come on. Killed. Holy crap.
Yeah, so don't just run in there like I did. There's a lot of enemies there. I think the one that killed me was that uh, one with the shield. He froze me. favorites. <laughs> so it looks like we were in a uh, respawn limited area, which means we can't respawn, but uh, you should be able to, or whoever goes down first, the other one should be able to uh, go revive them. Okay, now a little bit uh, slower this time. Are you down too? Jay, you there? Hold on, if I... Yeah, I killed. I couldn't. I couldn't get out of the swarm. Dang. You getting our butts kicked, man? Right? Yeah, it happens. Do 
Did we end up giving away those uh, anthem things? Nope. All right. Attempt number three. Now, I did put this on hard, and we are basically in here with the default gear, so that kind of gives us a little bit of explanation for doing so poorly. It's all your fault. I know. Well, I guess There's everybody's dead. On this one too. I'm starting the decryption. Yeah, I killed them all. The rift. Oh, we got a pity load. One of the two. Oh. Oh, no, they're not dead. They're not all dead. I need some more ammo. You gotta run around and find the, uh, little bluish green things like this one. Right yeah, here. I've just been unloading on all kinds of dudes. I really like the, the aiming system in this game. It is fun. Yeah. Oh, what's up, dude? Bad puppy. Jeez. Jeez. Let's hope this works. One way to find out. Head Whoa. back to the ruin and try to open that door. Uh, there's so many dogs. Let me get out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, he's one of those special dudes. Done. Nice. Is there any ammo and stuff up here? Uh, yeah, there's, well, there's some I've passed around there. I don't know if you've already picked it up or not, because I think all the drops are unique. Oh. Dang. So you just gotta have to kind of look around. Do you already go? No, not yet. I'm coming down to the ledge right now. Oh crap. Nice. Here you go, birdie. Just don't let those birdies hit you with their fireballs because it will set you on fire and instantly overheat uh, your uh you mean death. like me yeah. right now. Boom. Again. And I really like how when you're flying, if you just hold the, uh, like press the left trigger to aim down your sights, it immediately puts you into hover mode. Yeah, that is nice. Vegan. Boom. Ah. Got me overheated with that. Where's that blue marker? that way after you're done fighting those things Yeah, 
definitely make sure to use your uh, melee and your abilities more than you're probably used to. Since those are on cooldowns and infinite. And you got uh, limited ammo. through that door we couldn't afford. Well, as soon as your load's done. those guys. but I can't do nothing with it. The three Dominion soldiers that were locked in this chamber were behaving strangely. They seemed confused. But enough about that. We should move on and figure out how to get the manifold. Sure. Let's not worry about why they were confused. Can interact with the glowy bit now. Found the manifold, but it's protected by some kind of barrier. It's linked to the entire Shaper structure. For some purpose. You must break the link before the manifold can be removed. Oh, okay. So our first puzzle. Um, okay, what color is that barrier? It's blue. Change all these to blue. See if that does anything. Nope, not red. Blue. That one's already blue. They're all blue now. Okay. Didn't do anything. So, let's figure out something else.
Oh, it looks like there's a... Look on the wall up there. I wonder if that's the one we gotta put it to. And if there's one next to all of them. have to be red. I'm not seeing another icon here. Let's try all red. Uh, nope, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Journal, see if it has anything to say. Or the quest log. Nope, just deactivate the barrier. Okay. Something around here that'll tell us the order maybe they go in? I haven't heard anything about the quest being bugged. Ah, okay, so there's the one for this one. Purple. So there is an indicator around each one, you just actually have to find it, it's not the same place on each one. Okay, so purple here. Um, I think that one's red. Oh, that one's blue? Yeah. Oh wait, no, you're right, yeah. that I found a red, uh, like, it looked like a box, but I guess it wasn't right. Okay. Now I gotta figure out, we have to figure out the symbol for this other one over here. There we go. Ah, yellow. Barriers there we go. down. Be as careful as you can. Nice. The manifold is fragile. And dangerous. I actually Probably like that. that too. Bit of puzzle element. Got Puzzles it. never hurt. My way back. I can't believe it. We did it. See you soon. Mission completed. Now we get the items for uh, quest reward stuff. <laughs> I thought two. we got suits uh, that... Didn't you send me something about some suits? Oh, no, those are colors, uh, vinyls. Um, those are something that they'll give us in the retail game for playing during the VIP weekend. Oh, okay. But we won't have those yet.
All right. Uh, so then you hold press X to get your loot. Sweet. New light machine gun. Um, assault rifle or assault launcher stuff. New pistol, shotgun. Ooh, grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah, that's some pretty good loot. I've already got a bubble, so I'm going to go ahead and disassemble that. Mm, that's just a common assault rifle. I'm going to disassemble that, salvage it, whatever. And I'll take those four. What is going on, everybody? This is... Uh, thank you for tuning in. We are the Study of Gaming. We are playing Anthem tonight during the, the VIP weekend demo here. I uh, got me uh, and Jay doing a double team. Uh, so, Jay, once we get back into Fort Tarsus, that is a completely single-player thing, so we won't be able to see each other there. I right, gotcha. I may watch uh, you do that when I have to step away for a minute here in a second. Okay. There were so many. And so there's no other co-op quest? Huh? There's you no said that. You said the second one is single player? No, no. Fort Tarsus here, the city, is uh, single player only. Um, and that's oh. because that's where all the like story player elements in the game come in. And you get like choices in the dialogue and how you interact with people, and they want that to be uh, a unique experience to you. I gotcha. Use this marksman rifle as my secondary. Matthias. Support you. Hello, hello, hello. Here's the manifold. Ah. So, what are the components? Uh, the components are mm. modifiers. That's well, the stuff that when you uh, put in, those oh, are modif they're specifically just to modify your abilities. Like um, some of them do longer flight time, some of them do more explosive damage, some of them do more frost damage, all that kind of stuff. That's those are the biggest way that you'll like tailor okay. your abilities to ha your particular gameplay style. I got you. you. Hit that switch. That's cool. Uh, hit it again. It's just me, or is nothing happening? Okay, easy, easy. Let me see here. Yeah. Oh yeah, here. I got some good stuff here. Yeah. This is here. I mean, the connections are right. Mm. Ah, I know. Uh, there is this uh, uh, tried and true technique. <laughs> hit it. Never fails to. Yep. Matthias. Was this no? No, <laughs> you just whoa! Incredible! Shove off, Hansy! What went awry? We struck the manifold. Manifold definition amplification or multiplication. Oh, we've been. All right, I'll be right back. This okay. is total scorp drop. Wait, wait, wait! This can't be multiplication. You're surly, and I'm not. And he's he cleaved and freeze. What happened? Division. Of course, um, an inverse function of... The manifold divided you. I don't like this. Physical multiplication, psychic division. A personality split three ways. No, no, no. It's not what the manifold is supposed to do. We have to fix this. The Dominion soldiers in the ruin, there were three. Do you think the manifold affected them too? Three Dominion soldiers? The same soldier. Uh, I'm not sure. We have to go check. Agreed. Any information will help. Wait! What are we supposed to do in the meantime? Stay out of trouble? The trouble's my middle name. No, it's Errol. Guys, focus. It's Errol. Go. You're right, buddy. Oh. Well, that was odd. Okay. Now we got another expedition to go... Investigate stuff. 
Let's check out the equipment we got first. Got Ooh, actually, what's the map? What's the matter? Uh, where's the store? Mall. Uh, I think that's the bar. Client system, challenges, barracks, vault. I bet that's the store. Or the vanity. No, that's vanity store's gonna be the cosmetic stuff. you got over here yep okay so in the main game or probably the demo two here uh, there are two forms of currency um, there's the coin which I've got um, 115 of you can see that in the top left uh, that is the in-game currency that you earn for completing quests selling stuff all that kind of thing uh, the premium currency the real world currency is called shards uh, now those will be used in the microtransactions um, so far, uh, EA and Bioware have promised that there will be no um, microtransactions for in-game power. So that means no buying equipment, no buying weapons, um, not even buying any materials that you can use in crafting, which would be a kind of tertiary way to buy power. Uh, they've specifically stated that everything will be, uh, all the microtransactions are cosmetic only, and um, no loot boxes either. That is all really, really good. I don't think you actually sell me anything. I think you just... Uh... Let me see what I've got. Yeah, I salvaged that other one. So that one's better. Oh, probably have to move it to junk. Um, okay, so let's go in here and see which one of these is better. Got an auto pistol and a heavy pistol. Or a semi-auto. Um, I'm probably not going to use either one of the pistol, to be honest. But let's go ahead and move that one to junk. Both of the commons will keep the uncommon. Get rid of the assault rifle we're not using. Yeah, okay. I'm back. What up? <laughs> so do I just go back to start expedition when I'm ready? Uh, we gotta go talk to Matthias again, and then yes. Okay, let me go talk to him. Too bad you can't fly to go talk to Matthias. Yeah, no. Or at least run, which they did right. say they were going to be putting in uh, running in Fort Tarsus like during uh, retail. When's retail? February? February 22nd. I gotcha. So, I guess uh, you'll be streaming Anthem. I'll be streaming Far Cry. Okay. Sounds good. Because <laughs> the Far Cry, Far Cry releases the 15th. Hmm. Do I want the heat seeking missile? Or three acid darts. Hmm. Let's do the acid darts. Opponents, do I have anything else besides that one? Actually, we, we're we doing hard. I'm going to switch to the component that gives me more health than rather than the melee. Because we seem to need that last time. Yeah, I totally forgot we were on hard. <laughs> hey, but we kicked back though. Heck yeah. Alright, let's 
see what I want for my second weapon here. Um, got the light machine gun for the primary. What the heck? He just duplicated uh, triplicated himself. <laughs> yeah. Now let's go with the light machine gun and the marksman pistol. Or the marksman rifle. Yeah. Amplification. Duplication. Get done talking to him. Let me know. All right. Start watching the cinematic. Gotcha. I'll go ahead and send you the uh, squad invite, though, that you can accept, and that way it'll, you can just ready up when you're done. I think it, it, it's letting me ready now. Boom. Oops. Yeah, it says I'm ready. Okay. Do you need to uh, modify your loadout or anything? Or did you already do that? I don't think so. Yeah, I already did that. Okay. Uh, you just went unready. Did I? What the heck? How'd that happen? Oh. I don't know how to get back to that screen. Uh, hop into your javelin. Oh. <clears throat> Ah, my javelin's uh, hanging above the raptors. Okay, ready. All right. Keep it private. Let's go. This game is super fun, guys. I, I definitely. So it looks like they, uh, in the final game, they will also have a little widget on your um, HUD that shows your squad mate's uh, health at all times as well. I'm going to need that on my smartwatch. <laughs> or I'm going to need that on Chroma. There we go. Yeah. Is Anthem Chroma integrated? Uh, not yet. Um, I don't know if it will be at launch, but... Yeah, I just you noticed just my... Uh, oh, wonderful. Uh, isn't it? My uh, mouse isn't changing colors. <clears throat> as soon as I turned on Fortnite, it was like BAM. Yeah. It immediately changed. I can't wait to get the keyboard though and see how that works out. Some of these games have like some pretty cool effects. I'm so jelly that your graphics card loads so much faster than mine. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it loads as fast as it does. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we have a difference in internet, and my CPU is not that much different than yours. Yeah. So that's the only thing. Let me do a speed test just to verify. Yeah, I'm not, like, dipping. And your GPU is not that much worse than mine. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm running one, one GPS. <clears throat> GB. There's a lot of people streaming Anthem. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> a lot. I was hoping that if I got in, you know, closer to 8 instead of 8.30, we'd beat some of the people, but... Oh, uh, dude, there's so many. I imagine there's it's going to be like that. Oh, yeah. If I had to estimate right now, um, there's probably at least 60 people streaming. God, I think I may be stuck. Again? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna alt F4 and... Dude, I had to alt F4 Origin. Hmm. Just, yeah. to, just to get back in. Yeah, uh, EA's been saying that uh, 
for some reason they've been having a lot of issues with like their whole origin client. I mean, last night uh, there was people that couldn't even log into the like origin servers at all and even play other origin games. Oh wow! So it's not just really it's really not just an anthem problem. It's and they've got plenty of servers to hold the capacity. They've already confirmed. It's just other bugs that have been coming up, right. both both inside and outside their their environment. What they have control over. In the car and, and dangle a little bit. Or, yeah. Yep, we're going to have to close origin again. Something right. Go home, origin, you drop. I don't want to die, that's the problem, the process is not killing This light machine gun makes me happy in my pants. <laughs> Alright, fingers crossed, let's see the show light. There we go. I see the game. <clears throat> Come on, Bioware. Two charges of that. Sweet. And that's a primer. Sweet. Flare is doubling. <laughs> okay, I'm finally yeah, in the you. game. Oh, there they are. Alright, we gotta head down that way. Something. Oh, I see him. They're above. Eyes on target. Got the one behind you. Into the hole. We find glory. No trace of the defeat so far. Maybe this will be an easy mission. That's not gonna happen. Can't you let anyone have a moment of happiness? Nope. These look like alien eggs. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't think there's anything in them. I'm just messing around. Yeah. Watch out for scorpions in the area. They must have moved in just recently. Just killing babies, you know. Better do something about them. They'll get in the way of your investigation. Oh my gosh. That thing's dead. Oh. Wait, they're behind me too. Dude, they're everywhere. I didn't realize they were behind me. So how do I switch weapons? Hold X? Yeah, there hold X. Go. I got you. I love my secondary. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, that one explodes. Reminds me of those screamers in there. That's a problem. Not the dead. Here you go, buddy. Suck on that. Yeah. Again. And ammo. Yay. Let's get out of here. I don't like spiders. <laughs> Man, the flight is so much fun. Yeah, I know. I'm having a blast using it during combat and stuff. Oh yeah, no. The that whole vertical element really changes the way you think about combat sometimes. Right. Kill the grab it. Got it. Done. <laughs> I don't like Done. this. You don't like anything. Dominion soldiers dissolving is bad news. Relax. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. So you're just gonna sit around. Where are you going? What is happening? Did this argument wait until I get back to the fort? Sunders <laughs> left. He just got up and left. Left the lab? I don't know. <clears throat> just find a route of call. We'll deal with this back here. Oh, I see him. You. This one's got a scope on it, but you can't use it. It's dumb. Yeah, it's only the sniper rifle that you can really use the scope on. 
Wait, what are you doing? There's people down here. I guess you're taking long, the different way. Not the right supposed to go. Oh no. Uh, no, you're kind of far, far away from the blue marker I'm at. Or I'm getting close to. Yeah, I'm killing other people. That you're seeing. Oh, yeah, it's not people, that's just scorpions. Oh, they're people. Ah, boom. Under you. Yeah. I see the blue marker. like the best part of the game. <laughs> like I can launch rockets from my face? <laughs> yeah. Did you see that dodge dude? Alright, I think uh, we're gonna need that. There's somebody in there. I see it. It's a shiny light. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. You here? No, I'm not. No. I'll wait for you. This is pretty fun, like on the hard. Like, I think this is a good, good matchup. Well, just to give you a heads up, they did say that they made everything easier for the uh, demo. I gotcha. So. But I mean, even even then, though, it's still fun. Yeah. Because uh, I, I think it's a good difficulty to get everybody hooked, you know? Get you used to the gameplay. Because I'm, dude, I'm stoked about this right now. I know, it's so much fun, isn't it? Yeah, especially with, like multiple people. I'm having, I'm having a blast. Ah! I'm gonna use this rocket on you real quick. I should have saved the, uh, the ultimate. <laughs> Do you have the most? I already used one. I used it like uh, when we got in here. I got you. They just disappeared. Oh, yeah, I don't know what just happened. Most of the I'll show you. Stay here. I'll handle it. Be careful. Okay. There's an Escarai needing them. Huge. Dangerous. It's been making trouble. What's this thing? Okay. What thing? Just picked up some bubble that was... Oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Travel... Travel to the Scar hideout. Makeshift prison camp? They kidnapped Vulcanists. The scars have them in cages here. Hey, you could not disappear. That would be cool. 
Where did you say, Peter? Oh, I didn't see you. Right. I was one talking to you. I was talking to this guy. I was fighting him, right? Yeah. Gotcha, sucker. <laughs> okay, so that's not the way to go. Uh, which way? Uh, way... Up there. Okay. <laughs> I see the goodies. Stupid sniper rifle. Or sniper dude. Come here. Yeah, I know I'm leaving the mission area, but you're not giving me much of a choice. Right near us, dude. Hello, Mr. Heavy. You've got a grenade, hit him. I primed him for combos. Got him. Oh, crap. I'm gonna lose. Alright, here we go. Ground pound. Oh, there's a lot of enemies there. Oh my gosh. The balls. I got the balls. Ooh, that hurt. I got my shields. I just launched another one, but... Whoa. I think there's a big thing right there. Uh, these drills, that's what we gotta blow up. Leading the thing for us, and I really don't want that to happen. Maybe it's like a time thing, like you know, they allow in so much to the battles to keep you interested. Um, maybe. What's this over here? Ah. Open the gate. This music's crazy. I wasn't looking forward to whatever that is scar I had planned for us. A room of calm? Yeah. Gotta open the gate. Me. How did you... Matthias Sumner sent me. You need to okay. uh, figure out what you should um, <clears throat> to analyze this. Where did you get this? The energies it's giving off. I can evaluate this data back at the fort. I'll take Aruna and the rest of the prisoners in the Strider. You should take out that scar I he mentioned. Kidnapping? Sounds like bad news. Do we know what this scar looks like? The Sentinel said it was huge and dangerous.
gonna take it. <laughs> That's good. Found the Ascara we're looking for. We have to take it down. Where are they ready? Jeez, I need to get up on top of this. Oh, and one thing to let you know too, you are immune uh, and invincible while you're in the middle of your use, using your ultimate. So nice. That can save you on a clutch. Take this lemonade. Oh, shit. Get on there. <laughs> Justin Tarpley, thank you for the share, man. Appreciate it very much. down yeah you're probably gonna die too if you try to revive me yep man this thing is tough I, tried. I know I think that uh spot that you were at was a good spot to stick though and I think it'd be better to save yeah. the ultimates to take out a bunch of the little guys rather than trying to focus on him, the big one. Right. Yeah, I agree.
Tak. Oh, we're starting right here on the battlefield where we were. In a different place. Bullets are saying zero. Oh, wait. oh hit the leg. Oh, hit the legs? Yeah. When I'm trying to hit the turret, it's giving me zero, but when I'm hitting the legs, it's giving me more. And it's showing gotcha. up as critical. There we go. And we knocked him loose. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hello, heavy. Jeez. That just came out of nowhere. Kill me. Oh, that's lovely. A portal opened up right on top of me. Jeez. I almost died. This is ridiculous.
Ooh, heavy. Let me there, being down there and fighting. It's fine. Heavy's dead. Step down right in front of the walker. Ugh.
die. Heated me. Still overheated. Jeez.
Nice. So those heavies, they've got these tanks on their back um, that you can actually shoot them and they explode. refills your health full. That's it. The Scarrow trouble dealt with. Good work. Dang. Head back to the fort and see if Runa discovered anything about those samples. Jeez, that was tough. Yeah, that, that one earned the, uh, the hard difficulty. Yeah, definitely. Oh. My goodness. Expedition complete. Sniper rifle. Did you get a sniper rifle from that one? Don't think so. I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Oh, yep, I did. The uh, Devastator? Yeah. No, it's the Dead Eye. Ah. Uh. Oh, two of them. I have a grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah, I got a grenade launcher. Uh, Aftershock. I have a bombarder. 
Uh, the only things I'm keeping are grenade launcher, sniper rifle, an upgraded uh, assault rifle, and then some upgraded like ability stuff. So the game, demo gameplay doesn't transfer over, right? Uh, not to the full game. The the stuff from this demo will transfer to the public demo. That's uh, next weekend. But then that's it. I got you. But that's still pretty nice that we won't have to restart again. You know, from the very beginning next weekend. Right. Now here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, those samples? Those are special. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about when you talk to Aruna? Are you in the forge? Yeah, I'm messing with the uh, cosmetics in the forge. Gotcha. Man, there's so much customization for these javelins. Holy cow.
Let's see what we've got to work with. Oh. Finished customizing. Good. You're here. Those samples you brought me, what were they? Well, they used to be Dominion. I thought it might be something like that. Reality decay is not pretty. Reality decay? When a shaper instrument taps into the anthem, it affects reality, and reality is a lot less stable than you think it is. One incorrect variable and the entire equation collapses. Reality collapses. These Dominion... Whatever happened to them altered their nature, the fundamentals of their existence. But it wasn't right. Something wasn't right. They couldn't last. Oh, well, What's just this got, got to do with good Matthias? News. Whatever happened to these Dominion happened to Matthias, too. You're not saying... The manifold affected him. It means he... That's the one I told. I brought special specimens to. Gods, I could really use a soothing cup of tea. You're back. Oh, oh, that, is, that is you, isn't it? I can't quite focus my eyeballs. Where's Sumner? And where's the manifold? He was impatient. He wanted to pursue his own theory. He took it and pushed me. Not hard, but it hurt my feelings. What did Aruna say? The Dominion soldiers were affected by some kind of reality decay as a result of their divide. Reality shifting in unintended ways. As a result, they were wobbly jelly that didn't quite set oh that explains why i'm feeling oddly porous it's uh it's not a great feeling and none of my limbs work right we need sumner back and the manifold the generator of the effect must be part of the solution do you know where he went he talked about needing a drink maybe the bar it's a start how long do i have i smell burnt toast not long Please hurry. I smell burnt toast. That's not good. I don't see Sumner anywhere, but there's Aruna. Maybe she's seen him. You should ask. Hello, my name's Amal, and I'm your bartender. Freelancer. Nice to meet you. Did you recognize my voice when I said freelancer? Was I supposed to? Well, I was in season one of Dawn Guard, so I Did thought you might... Did you pay attention really? to what level what we started at? Uh, Sentinel 2. We're level Sentinel 11 and a half now. Open the gate, but I was always at his shoulder. Just in the first season? Yeah, in the second to the last episode of season one, I got killed by a scorpion. I think this bartender is uh, uh, Fix It Felix. His voice sounds yeah, so that, bad. Yeah, that's what, yeah. I, that's what I thought. That's life, right? You gotta be tough if you want to be an actor. Who knows? Maybe you'll get another shot. You're probably right. I don't think Dongard appreciated me. Hey, you're pretty smart. I could use your advice. Okay. So, there's this lady that comes to the bar, and I think she's attracted to me. What makes you think that? She said, and I quote, I'm super attracted to you. So, what's the problem? First, she's married. Second, to an aggressive Lancer. And third, I am terrible at saying no. 
How do you think I should handle this? Oh god. Um. <laughs> Use your acting Just skills. pretend you're playing a character who's great at saying no. That's a great idea. I'll act my way out of this. I think my character will be firm, but friendly. Just like Sentinel 2, you know? My role in Dawn Guard. Sounds like you got this. You are a wise person. I'm not gonna forget this. If I ever get into a jam, I know who I'll come to for help. Great. Yeah, for bad advice, because I'm gonna give you the worst advice. Ah, oh, freelancer. Let me guess. Looking for Matthias? Yes, one of them. He wanted a drink, but wasn't allowed in. He's been banned from the premises for months. Great. So he's gone now. I tried to talk to him about the samples you found, but he didn't seem interested. He was always easily distracted, but never... rude. It was odd. It's complicated. That one, Sumner, appears to be the abrasive side of Matthias. We should find him. I don't know how quickly the reality decay could set in. Got it. Huh. What now? Uh, I don't please. see Sumner anywhere. He might still have his link on him. Connect us. I can sense the link, but I can't seem to make the connection. But I can track him. Got him. He's by the forge. Now on the hunt for the rude triplet. Said Sumner was here. I don't see him. No? Hmm. Let me check the forge records. Ah. Looks like he took a javelin. Can he do that? Can he even operate one? Not well, I imagine. He has likely left the fort by now. You should go after him when you can, in case of trouble. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so I'm at the point to launch an expedition to go find dude who's turning into jelly. You ready to go? Uh, I'm at the forge. Okay. I mean, you can go ahead and launch if you want. I may be a minute. Okay. I think I've got to invite you into my squad and get you in here before I can launch. Because I don't know if I launch if you'd be able to join me later. Right. But uh, take your time. Where the heck is the sniper? There it is. Nice. And there's all kinds of stuff you can do to this suit. Ah, so when you are uh, in the customization and you're picking your materials for all the different like appearances and stuff, um, you actually can, while you're on the bar before you open up like the spheres of the materials, um, if you're on that bar, you can go right and you can actually click the color to change the color of that material too. I missed that part. No way. Okay, so you're on the bar. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up in the stream too. So what do you do? Say that again? Um, okay, so... Has to look good. Go to paint. And then... It'll catch up on the stream here in just a second. 
Um, so when you're on the change paint job, like the first uh, one says I primary see. hard, you move over to the right to select the color. Then you can actually create a custom color by hitting that plus I sign. I see it. And modify... Man, I would lose. I'm gonna lose so much time in this game just doing this. I like it. All right, I'm ready to go when you are. Just uh, drop yourself under ready and we'll head out.
Now I'm interested to see what colors and you make yourself.
You ready to go, dude? Yep. All right. Yeah, I know I could easily spend, especially once we get all four javelins in the retail, man, I can spend hours in that customization. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. This one's going a bit slower. Yeah. There it goes. Like 50% and then boom. Dude, dude, look at our suits. Look how close they are. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Dude, look how close we ended up. That, that was totally like. I didn't. I, mean, I couldn't see you guys, obviously. Right. And I promised I wasn't watching no. yours. I was like, <laughs> not paying attention at all. We're like inverted colors of each other. That's great, though. This is so um, <laughs> so awesome. We need a screenshot of this. Yep. And you should pick your spot and I do it. Alright, go ahead. Going straight down cleans your rock too. Yeah, because you're using uh, gravity, so. Alright. Well, hello. I didn't know it was going down like that, huh? I don't have any detonators now. That sucks. Oh. Yeah, all just the primers.
I was, but dude, it's gone now. I don't see any red on the radar. That's me dead. Yeah, we're good. Let's get on it. I'm sensing something. What's this? Oh crap. Get away from those. Yeah, those are not cool. Okay. Bombs are our advantage. Uh oh, I'm gonna aim over the sniper. <laughs> that was from my last one. <laughs> yeah, we'll just got a little bit more. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? That was a big boy. See anybody that I freeze like this? Go ahead and like to explode on the combo. Okay. Since I can't detonate my combos. I wasn't paying attention to my loadout. <laughs> Those yeah. scars were quick to attack. Do you think they ambushed uh -huh. Sumner? Wouldn't rule it out. He must be in the area, but he might be hurt yeah, or worse. Know. We need to find him quickly. Is this way? Need some health. Oh my gosh! Bad news. 
Sumner's not in the crashed suit. He must have taken it off for some reason. Wait, did my stream just Hello? hit it? Freelancer, is that you? Sumner? Matthias? Yes, it's me. No. Bloody scars. I knew I couldn't take them and there was a crack in the rock. And you couldn't fit into it while wearing a javelin. Yeah, Wait. I think this passage leads me to the room I was looking for. What? I'll keep going. Stay where you are. Cut out for my uh, whip bait and stuff. Oh yeah, it does it. I'm watching it. It's it's the rock. Okay. And you couldn't fit into it while wearing a javelin. Now we get the dashboard up as well, and it's strapped in the ground somewhere. How's Maddie? None of his major organs have liquefied. Yeah. Major uh, okay. organs? What about the non-major organs? Uh, just bring back the manifold and Sumner as soon as you can. I can get used to controller gaming because I can really sit back in my chair. Medium. Medium, yeah. I think we found the cave network that Sumner's in. Are you sure? No. I'm a cipher, not some kind of cavern oracle. I guess there's only one way to find out.
strange and energy. Don't get near it because you'll shock down there? I don't know. But Sumner has the manifold with him. He came here for a reason. It's electrocuting me. Definitely good time for that. <laughs> yeah. You mean steel? Just 
started going wild. Something unexpected about this place. I have to silence it, but I need time. A titan? No, more than one titan. Three God. titans. Wait, three. This clenching metaphor. Uh, what? Do it again. Leave it to me and fix that relic. Oh, there's one now.
I'm gonna replant it, but go. How long is this demo? Um, I think, I mean, we've only got like one little quest line and then we've got one stronghold or raid, whatever you want to call it to do. Did you change your eye color? Um, I think so. I guess I didn't change mine. Nope, don't care about all these common stuff. I didn't get rid of all these. Uncommon auto cannon. I bet that's for the... Got a marksman rifle. Nice. Got two sniper rifles. One of them is actually a rare one. Blue quality. Ammunition explodes on contact with target. Limited ammo. Nice. So which uh, javelin are we? We are the ranger. Ranger. Now once retail launches, um, there's a prologue mission that it'll force you into the ranger. But once you finish that, you actually get to pick your starting javelin. I gotcha. And I'm gonna swap out my gear. I've gotta have at least one kind of detonator. Okay, um, so once the stream catches up, I'll point it out on there. Um, there are icons that you can tell what is a detonator and what is a primer. Um, so my frost grenade here, that icon uh, that kind of looks like maybe a fire, tentacles, whatever you want to call it in a circle, that's a primer. Um, so that one has the chance to afflict the target with some kind of debuff, whether it's fire, electric, acid, or ice. Um, my frag grenade here, the icon next to that looks like an explosion. Um, that one is a detonator, so you can hit somebody that's primed with one of those status afflictions and it does the combo effect to explode. I think I'm going to switch back to the Seeking Missile for my detonator. I'll have my Frost Grenade for the primer.
There we go. Oh, there's the end. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Yeah. Gotcha. The, the last man is so we still got some free play to do, and we've got, uh, like I said, the stronghold to do, uh, where we can run around and free play, explore, uh, try and find materials for crafting stuff, and take play, uh, do world events that'll pop up around. Um, that's probably my suggestion for after this, uh, considering the time we got left. you uh in this one out i appreciate uh, everybody tuning in uh it's fun playing i'll definitely be picking this one out appreciate it lucas for that the demo ticket yeah yeah got you covered hmm. i don't get to watch that last uh talk with matthias because mine got bugged i had to skip it oh that sucks that was a good one Somebody's uh, chatting here. Who we got? So uh, Damon. I'll let, let you answer that one, Lucas. Gotcha. So Damon uh, Anthem is a new sci-fi um, multiplayer, always online, uh, first-person shooter and RPG kind of hybrid game. Um, so it's got a lot of action in it. It's got a lot of story elements in it. Um, you can play almost the whole game solo. Uh, some parts you actually do need uh, teams for, but there is matchmaking for everything. Um, and basically we're on this alien world trying to get this um, ancient, super powerful artifact called the Anthem of Creation. Um, it is a leftover remnant of technology by the uh, whatever alien race made this whole planet and populated it with life. And it literally gives you the power to change reality how you see fit. You can create life, you can create mountains, destroy stuff, whatever you want to do. It literally um, gives you the power of creation and destruction. Um, so the overarching story plot is we're going to try and get that, keep it out of the hands of the you know bad guys who don't need it, and blow some stuff up and kill some people along the way. Mainly, you get to live out your Iron Man fantasies in uh, these powered ex exosuits. <laughs> so, I've done the story mission. Uh, the only uh, set of those that's available in the... Uh, demo here so now i'm just going to head out for some free roam just explore the map a little bit maybe see what uh public events or um i can get into Yeah, man, stick around. Like I said, I'm going to just uh, run out and fly around and kill some things. Uh, there are four different exosuits you can get into. Um, the demo starts you out in uh, this one that I'm flying in called the Ranger. Uh, as soon as I get half of uh, another level, I'll be able to buy one more. Um, they've got the Colossus, which is the big tanky thing. Um, there's the Interceptor, which is kind of like a space robot ninja. Um, they're really quick. They've got uh, they specialize in like melee. They've got swords to slice people up and shurikens. And then you've got yep, the storm, which has a fancy cape and okay, flies around, good. raining uh, lightning bolts and ice bolts and fireballs and all that kind of stuff at people. It's that's your space wizard. Something a little bit harder to kill. 
There we go. Sorry, the freelance is gone. I'll see what I can learn from their link. Oh, they'd make it in time. Keep your head up, they're not finished with us yet. Now I've got to remain inside this circle for this world event here.
are you doing to me, Bioware? so much of Did it just wipe my progress? No, I'm still level 11. Okay. That was making me nervous there a little bit, by where. Okay. 
that'll be something later. Because of Facebook's four hour time limit on streaming, um, looks like we do only have about 30 minutes left. So I do plan on playing all un uh, all that I can. But once that cuts me off, I will call it done for tonight. Jump back out into free play. Now the uh, little purple icon that you saw on the map there, that was for uh, the in-game strongholds. So those are basically uh, Anthem's equivalent of dungeons, raids. Um, I guess dungeons would be the better um, equivalent since there's only four people at max, but that's your dedicated team com uh, component for the game. Okay. Oh, I'm getting some server issues. Um, so one of the things you do want to be aware of too when you're playing, um, there is no experience points on kills. Um, experience points are given when you complete uh, feats, challenges, missions, strongholds, um, that kind of stuff. So. Really, unless you have to, killing the wildlife is just a waste of bullets, ammo, and time. Play again. It's already on free play, so I'm not going to mess with any settings. Let's just try and go.
grab it. doing right now is uh, collecting materials. Uh, there is a crafting system in the game. Um, I haven't really found any blueprints, uh, at least any extra ones, um, here in the demo. Uh, but I know it does exist in the full game.
Where is it? There you are. drops. We can check on the missing agents. Marking last known contact. There we go. Okay. Okay. Seems to have lost one of their own around here. I'll start tracking the agents. Think. Scars, this will be trouble. Probably was not the best place for me to just drop down to two. Bend the check. From enemies that come out of the rift. Gate, watch out. I can get vertical as much as I want. I just can't uh, leave this circle. Push them back, we 
can't let them interfere. Almost there. The agent hid intel nearby. They wanted it returned to Corvus. We can do that, right? Try to regroup. The Corvus one. reports, or part of one. Keep looking. They brought back up. We're not done yet. Two. Can't that do that. Scar has the piece we're missing. We have to get oh. it. Get back down. That's cool. Yeah, Damon, a lot of a um, like original right. Halo vibe. It's really, really nice. The gunplay just feels smooth and fluid and as fun as that game did. 
And if that game meant as much to me with, uh, when it first came out as it did to me, then that's a big compliment. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Uh, game just crashed. All right, let me see how much time I've got left. See if I've, it's even worth getting back in. Nope. All right, I've got five more minutes left till Facebook cuts me off anyway. So uh, I am going to call it here for tonight. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Again, this has been the study of gaming with uh, Anthem. Uh, the demo here ends uh, tomorrow night. So we will try and play if we can. Um, if not, this is available for everyone to download and play um, starting next weekend. Uh, you can download it uh, from the Origin Store or uh, your platform of choice, the store. Just go and search for Anthem Demo. Uh, you should be able to go ahead and preload it now. Um, it just won't let you in until next weekend. So I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to drop us a like and a follow on the page. Come back for more. And maybe be entered into that $25 gift card giveaway we've got on the page. So thank you all very much. Hope you have a good night and we'll see y'all later.